Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Kevin here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the patch notes for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So, what can we expect for tomorrow and the next days to come? So, obviously, the two biggest change, two biggest additions for Season One Reloaded is obviously um, the return of the new map Express, which, is, as you all know, it's a it's an old map from Black Ops Two, which is finally making a return. Now, personally. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I even played on this map. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever played on Express from what I can remember. And and the next edition is also on um, Firebase Firebase Z, which is a new mission zombie. So I can't wait to see how that would operate. So right here, I'm just gonna be reading off reading off the patch notes. And don't worry, I'll link this channel. I'll link I'll link the uh, the patch notes down below if you wanna read it for yourself. So first off, I'm just gonna be breaking it all down. So right here we got double double XP weekend begin, begins February the fifth up to the February eighth. So starting Friday until Sunday around Sunday yeah Sunday we're we're gonna be getting general XP which is so if you want to level up to prestige master or, or the next prestige master I guess so um February the fifth to February February the eighth. It's the best time if you want to level up quickly. And also we have like um, we have a change to voice chat, which it just addresses the issue where like voice chat can be choppy sometimes. Yeah, I mean you know how voice chat is in Call of Duty games. It can be very choppy sometimes. Alright, so in, or, so we're multiplayer obviously as I stated before we have a new map, which I wish I can show vid Images of how this map is like, but uh, I'm worried that I'm gonna get copyrighted. So don't, um, I'll link some Google images down below. So if you want to see uh, what to expect from the map express, and of course, um, add it to multiplayer. We're gonna see, we're gonna have to see, see Express 24/7 playlist now available, and also you can play in hardcore, hardcore modes. And of course, you have a uh, like this is right there. So tomorrow we're gonna be experiencing. Express twenty four seven, so I can't wait. I can't wait to check out that map for the very first time. As I don't think I've ever played on Black Ops two. I don't remember. All right, so we have a new game mode. So endurance forty players. So basically, like it's kind of like a like a mini battle royale mode. We just have like um ten ten quads. So like ten teams of four just battling to the death, I guess. And also, um, uh, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like a battle royale, but a, like dirty bomb in a way. So it's basically like a hybrid of both. Um, from what I'm reading here, after one bomb detonates, a new one comes comes along to take its place. So five bombs are always available instead of the initial set that gets reduced to a single bomb before the next wave. Score limit doubled from 500 to 1,000. So uh, we're just gonna see what it's like. So I'm guessing it's like a battle royale mode, but with um, dirty bomb and dirty bomb and added to that, I guess. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. I mean, this this game it looks really interesting. I'll give it that. All right, next we got new prop hunt mode. So express raid crossroads and our mod of strike. So, uh, so right there. I'm not I'm not personally much of a fan of prop hunt, but if you're big fans of prop, so if you're a big fan of prop hunt. Um, we got some new maps like Express, Raiding, Crossroads, Strike, and Out Modern Strike. So, there we go. And also, Nuketown is now going to be the new gunfight map. So, as you all know, um, gunfights basically are like 3v3, where it's just um, if you die once, you, you're going to have to respawn until the next round. So, um, for those for those who really enjoy playing Nuketown, as myself, um, gunfight, um, Nuketown is not going to be a new gunfight map. So. And also, if you're planning to hosting your own private gunfight maps, um, 2v2, 3v3 are now available. So if you want to host your private gunfight game mode, so um, 2v2, 3v3 are not available. And also, they um they fixed an issue with hard point. Uh, they also fixed an issue with drop kick, control, and also um um CDO custom game modes right there. And this is just a full-on breakdown right here. Express 24/7. There's FTTP. Oh yeah, the uh, uh, 
Yeah, endurance, yeah. I'm, I'm so, sorry. so yeah, endurance, so that's gonna be a new game mode. Um, gunfight nuke town, as I said before, that's also gonna be added. Um, platform four maps added, as I said before. And also gonna be adding a new gunfight mode, which is three v three snipers only. Be able to check that out. So if you wanna level up your so if you wanna level up your snipers, this is the best game mode to do it. And also, I see face up and nuke are still going out. Okay. And as far as weapon tuning goes, it's not really much. I, they're just pretty much just buffing the launchers just, just so everyone can get diamond easily for some reason. So, I mean, if you're one of those OS that just want to like level up your launchers to gold or diamond or whatever, um, there you go. <laughs> and also, they, they also have fixed missions with equipment. And also they added some new um some new some new music to war tracks, so I mean it's nothing special, it's just music. And obviously I gotta turn this down to the copyrights copyright reasons on my streams, but so if you wanna jam some new music, I guess there it is. Alright, as I stated before now this is the biggest biggest edition right here by VC. So it's now available via endless or Around 20 playlists for all players. So, and also it's free for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And also we have it. Uh, apparently they fixed a new issue with Die Machine. Players cannot complete the full Omega Internal Internal Collection of Die Machine. Of course they fixed an issue right there. Really, uh, that rarely position players outside the map or jump from teleport from the dark nether. So, I don't think I've ever counted this issue. And also, when it comes to onslaught, um, so for those who enjoy grinding onslaught on zombies, Express is also going to be available. And sadly, though, it's a PS4, PS5 exclusive. I mean, all in all, like onslaught is just exclusive to PlayStation. Unfortunately, though, it's not for Xbox. So, I mean, who am I to blame? I mean, who am I to blame? Really, after all. Activision and PlayStation, they pretty much made the deal in the first place. So, I mean, I, honestly, I'm not surprised, but, but I'm I'm pretty pissed off that uh, Xbox players out there cannot experience Onslaught. So, so for you PlayStation players out there, hope you hope you all enjoy Express Onslaught. This so is the feature plays right here. Play BC, Endless, Fire Race Round Twenty. Um, that ops arcane. I don't think I've ever played this. So event starts. So that's new. On Solid Express. So that's PlayStation exclusive. And we also have a new perk known as the Tombstone Soda. So it's going to be available in Fire BZ and via their Wonder Fits and Dime Machine. And of course, they fixed an issue with Quick Revive. Uh, I'm going to have to read more on the Tombstone Soda. I don't think they provided. I don't think they provided that much information. And for those who who really ha who really enjoy having the napalm strike and the artillery at their disposal, so the napalm strike and artillery are now are now available as support to zombies. So if you ever, so if you really enjoy spamming napalm strikes or or the artillery, there you can zomb It's now available in zombies. So there you go. I think the name pump strike is definitely going to be much more useful in zombies, in my personal opinion. Also, they have fixed an issue with the sub revive, so with the sub revive, you can only drop with a player in the game and can equip it. And also, they they increase the maximum amount of sub revives they can that you can hold. Um, they fixed an issue with the cent with the centurion, which allowing people to actually dupe it. And of course, as far as weapons goes, there's not really much. As I said, they're just buffing the freaking launchers. I don't know why. So, uh, with the assault rifles, increased critical hit damage. Not bad. I think I'm, I'm guessing this applies to both multiplayer and zombies. I may be wrong. And of course, they, they increased the max ammo. As for SMGs, that means they did the same. Uh, as for shotguns, they increased the base damage. Oh wait. So right here, uh, I'm sorry, I'm reading this wrong. Apparently they're going to be buffing the street sweeper. I mean, as you all know, the street sweeper, the street sweeper is is pretty fucking deadly. 
I haven't unlocked it yet, but I heard it's pretty fucking deadly. And uh, if the street sweeper, if the street sweeper wasn't OP enough, well, the buff in the range and the base damage. I don't know why, but it is what it is. And of course, they fixed an issue with the blueprints. And of course, they're fixing an issue with armor. So level one armor will now replace the first armor sharp drop in the game. They fix an issue with the cryo freeze, so so with the cryo freeze, they're actually buffing the cooldown from three sec three seconds to one second. I mean, it doesn't sound too much, but it it is a nice change all all in all. And as for challenges, they added new new recruitment events in the category with challenge or future additions. Um, they added the first of six new recruitment. I don't know how these work. Oh, these are for fire fire BC. Okay. And they're adding you in the Dark Ops challenge for Fire PC. I'm not much of a fan of Dark Ops, personally. I don't think I've ever done them. And Dead Ops Arcade, so solo event starts. So. Apparently, you can. Apparently, you can do private playlists available for private playlists available Dead Ops. I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever played Dead Ops on Arcade Three. It says it allows players to start at their highest arena checkpoint in region solo mode. Most stats are challenging. So I'm guessing this is like practice, I guess. I don't know. Uh, as for gameplay, they added a new pickup item which is called the Divine Shield Potion, which grants first a Divine Shield buff that allows people to absorb one damage effect. Nice. So it's basically like kind of like a shield. I'm guessing that's for zombies. They added a new new key spawn location, that's the high road tunnel. Uh, they added a 1.5 damage shield, okay, let me just press our attention first. Okay. This is tons of stuff right here. Okay, this, so... Okay, this is the changes regarding zombies, or regarding enemies, I guess, AI. I mean, not, nothing special. They're just, they're just, like, general changes. I mean, you're welcome to pause the video at any time so you can read this for yourself. Or if you guys want, I can link the patch notes down below. And let's see the changes regarding fates. They also added some visual changes as well. And also regarding weapons as well. Stability, so they just change just general bug fixes here and there. Here's regarding the onslaught. We also have some changes regarding party and all that. And these are just changes regarding PC for those who um, for those who play Black Ops Cold War on, on PC. Um, you're welcome to read this for yourself. Just to see what I expect. I mean, obviously, um, I'm on PS4, so. This doesn't matter to me. And yeah, that's that's all. That's all there's to it. So um let me know down below what do you think of this of these passengers? Are you excited for Fire BC? Or are you excited for ex for the new map express? Um let me know down below. So uh what do you guys uh also, what do you guys think of the new buff of the street sweeper? Do you think it's too OP already? Or or is it is it a step in the right direction? Um, let me know down below. So, so that's all. So here's what to expect for um for the new for season one of Reloaded that's coming out to Black Ops Cold War tomorrow. So, um, personally, I'm really I'm excited. I can't wait to check out Fire BC and the new map Express for the first time. So yeah. So if you enjoyed my video, drop a like. If you're new to my channel, you want to sub. And yeah, this is gonna be Kevin signing off.